greetings from Nokomis, Florida. I wanted to get this video done today because, and not wait till the last minute, um, mainly because I have been waiting till the last minute to make my videos, even though most of the time I knew exactly what I wanted to say right after we were given our homework. And so today I wanted to answer Jen's questions about limiting beliefs. And the limiting belief that comes to mind first and foremost is the fact that I can't be a good mom and a good businesswoman and a good leader all at the same time. And no one in particular ever said those things to me that I couldn't do that. But I grew up with a stay-at-home mom who stayed with me until I was 13 years old. And I think I instilled that belief in myself that in order to be a good mommy, I had to stay at home and not work outside of the house. But as I quickly realized, that was not me. And I was not a good mom if I stayed at home all day long, every single day. And so after my third baby, I went back to work a little bit as a physical therapist assistant. And I love that. I do love being a therapist, but I wanted something more. And I've always wanted to own my own business. I have always wanted to be a leader. I have always wanted to be financially independent and doTERRA has just given me an option that I have never been able to see and this this soul searching um, has brought even that fear out that I can be a good mommy I can be a good business owner I can be a good leader and that is what I am planning on debunking and no longer believing and from here on out I want to declare that I am changing my belief in that and that I want to be a good mommy a business owner um, a leader of other women a good example to my friends and do it all without sacrificing what really means the most to me which is my family so um, I hope I answered all your questions, Jen, and so long for this week. I'll see you next week.